thought I saw somebody here. Hello? Hello? Where are you? I'm uh, sorry, you walked right past oh. me. I was under one of the trees. Hi. You're tiny. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, it kind of came that way. <laughs> Hi. You are not the person I was looking for, but I guess you'll have to do. Um, are you looking for someone? Do you need some help? I, I could help you if you want. Yeah, well, first of all, what, uh, what is this place? Oh, this is a local garden for the town. Um, Radio's been needing honey and bee, and honey, uh, honey and wax, so I thought I'd make this for them, so it's one less thing on their list. I know Mercy and Radio are both very busy. Hmm. Mind showing me around a bit? Uh, yeah, the garden? Like, sure. Yeah, I mean... It's, it's beautiful. Thank you. I, I personally love making things like this, and it was no harm. We have a couple of deer running around as well, some ponds. A couple of benches around, well, picnic tables around, and seating areas, too. I'm excited to see how it's used. Hmm. You know, for the city, it is quite lovely. Thank you. I have a little... You know, something bad happened to it. I don't imagine anything Mm. bad would happen to it. I mean, it's a garden. What would people want to do with that? <laughs> True. Ah, <sighs> anyway. Um, oh, I'm I sorry. I never forgot your name. Oh. Huh? I, I mean, yes, but I, I mean this in the nicest way possible. I'm sorry. Who are you? <laughs> oh, apologies for not introducing myself. Uh, my name is Lizzie. Sounds familiar. Uh, well, anyways, you Maybe. can call me Allie. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Have... Nice to meet you, Allie. Nice to meet you as well. <laughs> Apologies for not introducing myself on the first meeting. You know, where, where are my manners? <laughs> no worries. I completely get it. <laughs> anyway, uh, this is quite a lovely garden. Yeah, you should be proud. Oh, thank you. I kind of am. I can't wait for Radio to see it. I left them a letter, but mm, we'll see when they can check on it. Hmm. Why don't we? Why don't we go on a little walk, you and I? You know, around the city. You know, I haven't really been here much uh, in a while, so it'd be nice to haven't... check out the sites with a friend. Oh, I could happily show you. I've been helping build a lot of the things around here as well. And also helping with all the paperwork for it. Ugh. Interesting. Very interesting. Oh? Why is that? Well, you know, I, uh, I'm very curious about how all the people and stuff, you know, live their lives here. You know, like, following all these rules and... There's not that many, if they're only made for people's safety. I mean, uh, I've been for some things what? that would have probably been worse without the rules. Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> which, which one of these houses could be that close? Pardon? Hmm? Oh, nothing, nothing. Uh, let's, let's continue. Oh, okay. But I, I could have him give you a tour around the town. That's usually... Nexus is draw, but he's been away for a bit. Hmm. It's fine. I'll, uh, I'll find my own way around. Are you sure? I don't oh. mind helping you. I'm sure. I'm oh. really just looking for a certain person in particular. Oh, who are you looking for? If you're looking for radio, um, I know where they usually are at. I mean, we are friends, after all. <laughs> Oh, you are! Yeah, I'd say Radio and I are some of the closest friends. Why do you say? Oh, <laughs> alright! This is great! This is... <laughs> why, don't, why don't we go pay them a visit then? Say hi. Um, 
sure, but we should make sure they're not busy. Uh, and if they're sleeping, we're leaving them alone, please. They haven't been sleeping recently. Mm, of course, of course. Sleep is very important. Mm -hmm. Especially if you're under a lot of pressure, a lot of stress. You know, all that stress could crack open. Yeah, you look like you might need some sleep. If you want, I could get you some tea. I'm fine. I'm fine. Appreciate sure it, though. Are you sure, dear? I'm at, we can get you somewhere to just relax and get some sleep. I want you to take care of yourself. I'm fine. I don't have time for sleep right now. You have to make time. It's not healthy to do that, dear. I will. In time. Okay. Please take care of yourself. Let's see if Radio is home. Knock, knock. Radio, are you here? Oh, I guess they're not. I'm sorry. Don't disappoint me, smiley face. That's, uh, that sounds awfully, uh, suspicious, don't you think? It might be a note for themselves. Radio holds himself up to a very high thing. Oh, well. Do you know when Radio will be back? Um... You did say that they're probably busy. I mean, most likely they're doing work around the town. Or they might be with their husband. Necro's a sweetheart. Oh, Necro, Necro. You know, I was wondering too, you know, <laughs> where Necro could be. Why do you ask? I have, you see, I have business to do with, I guess you could say both of them. Oh? I mean, I could deliver a message if you want to radio, uh, uh, to our dear city leader. I, Necro would be a little bit harder, um, solely because they sleep so much. <laughs> <sighs> All right. Just one last thing, though. Yeah? Where uh, is radio keeping kept? I can't tell you that. I. Why don't we put that knife away, dear? We don't need that out. I appreciate your hospitality. Really, I do. But I'm here for a certain kind of business. One that, unfortunately, you can't help. Actually, wait a minute. We are in Radio's office. Why don't you leave them a little message for me? I... Wouldn't that be nice? Considering how you're acting, I don't think so. <laughs> oh, Allie, is it? Friend of I'm Radio? <laughs> Tell me, why would you be friends with such a dictator like Radio? They're not a dictator. They're a good leader and they take care of us. Really? Explain what they're probably doing to Cat. Reforming. That is what's going on. I'm, I get to be there. I'm in charge of making sure people are taken care of. Taken care of? Nobody's really taken care of. Yes, they are. I take me care of, you mean doing something bad to him? Radio did <laughs> say he would be reformed, whatever that means. Yes, he's being reformed. He's gonna be a good citizen. He's gonna be well with the people here. He's gonna be a good person. He was breaking laws. That's not okay. He wasn't a citizen here. And he doesn't have to be. But... He does have to not break in, trespass, stalk, harass, go through confidential documents. You realize all of those were really serious crimes. That is no excuse to hurt him. Ow! We aren't hurting him. Make this him. difficult, or we can make this easy. I want you to tell me, actually two things, two things. First of all, 
Where does Necro live? I don't think I want to tell you of how you're acting. They don't deserve uh, this. Oh, does that hurt? I can probably imagine that's how Cat's feeling right now. I saw a cat earlier. They're tired and they're resting. They are fine. <laughs> ah, have you ever... Tell me. Have you ever lost a sibling before? Do you know how the pain feels of losing all your family? Yes, I do. <laughs> then you should know how I feel right now. I grew up in such a powerful kingdom, you know? Very much similar to this city. And you know what they did? They split my family apart. Sent away all my siblings. Only one came back alive. And even then, they were forced out again. I lost all my siblings, and the one time I met somebody who finally felt like family, they were taken away. Cat was taken away. They're gonna come back. They just need to be reformed. They're a danger to society. <laughs> and, and all of you, all of you, you know, friends with radio in this office, you know, don't disappoint me. I <laughs> kind of... <laughs> oh, this is just... No! Please stop. Please. This is just to send a message. This will continue as long as Cat's still locked up. If I can't get to radio... Then, I'll just have to get to their friends. So tell me, where can I find her precious husband? I don't want you hurting Necro. I won't. I won't. I'll just give a... Help show Radio exactly how everybody feels. Radio knows how people feel. They hear it, and they're trying to be a good leader, and they're doing such a wonderful job. That's not the way I see it. I can help. I can help you see it the way I do. You can see how amazing radio is. I've seen firsthand. I'm around radio constantly. I know who they are and what they're doing. Please. We can... We can move past what's going on right now. We can help each other. It's fine. <sighs> oh, this is useless. We can do this all day, or at least until radio comes back. After all, I mean, this is their office. I mean, yes, but they can be out for days at a time doing work around the city. Or you need work at the prison. Sometimes, yes. <sighs> now, if you won't give me the answers, then I'll just have to get them from somebody else. Maybe Necro. Tell me where the prison is. I can't do that, and Necro won't either. Necro doesn't even know where Cat's being held right now. <laughs> well, Radio does. And if Radio sees all her precious friends being hurt, maybe she'll finally comply. Please, Lizzie, right? You don't have to do this. Aw, oh. oh, what? Did that hurt? Mm. 
Lizzie, please, please. We don't have to do this. We can talk. We can find something out. I don't think so. <laughs> oh, this is much better than sleeping, you know? Revenge. Vengeance. Something I should have done a long time ago when I lost my sister and my brothers. Dear, I dear, watched please. them get taken away. And I watched Cap get taken away. I'm never gonna let that happen again. Oh dear, listen, please. You're tired. You've obviously not been taking care of yourself. Let's get you some rest. We can get you some food, something to drink. And we can talk about this. You're not in the right state of mind. I'm in the perfect state of mind. All I want is getting my friend back and nobody is complying. I'm gonna have to go to drastic measures. Yes, because you come at me with a knife. That's definitely how you get someone to comply. No, that's not at all how you do that. Eventually, somebody breaks. You know? That's what always happens. Or at least that's what I was taught growing up. You were taught wrong, dear. I, I'm sorry for what you went through, but this isn't how it should be. You went for something horrible, and I understand the pain of losing someone you love. I understand the pain of losing a family member. I, it hurts, and it aches, and then you find someone, and it feels wonderful to find someone, and you will get that someone back, I promise. Please. <sighs> you are not in information. Alright. I'll get my information from somebody else, and if they don't give me that, then I'll go to somebody else. I will go to each and every person radio is close to, to get answers. No one's gonna rat out but radio, we all care for them because they are an amazing person. No, they're not. <laughs> they are not. <sighs> <sighs> this is, this is, oof. Why don't you scamper off to radio and tell them what happened here today? Tell them that this will only continue if they don't release Cat. Trust me, radio tell will them. hear about this. It won't end how you want. <laughs> Oh, I know. I I know how badly I'm probably going to die, but it doesn't matter. I'll come back. I always come back. And I'm tired of this city. And I will be one of the people to help burn it to the ground. And I'll come back from the ashes. Why don't you be a dear and can radio this message for me, please? Okay. Considering they haven't come back. <laughs> I should be going to sleep. I've got a lot to do tomorrow. Catch you later, Allie. I need to find radio. I need to tell Al. Oh, Al, it, it hurts. But I need to find radio. I need to tell them what happened. I just. Oh, God. It's okay. It's okay. I just. I just need to find radio. What? What's in this book? Hello, radio. You think I'd make an empty threat when I promise something it happens? If you think your poor friend here is in bad condition, you will be surprised what more I can do. They are planning this the whole time. After all, I grew up in a kingdom quite similar to Asus. I really truly didn't want to come to this. I really didn't, but life here was just a first. Imagine what more I could do. Alas, this could all be stopped if we were to release Cat. Or maybe Cat and Aphrodia. 
now that'll be that really surprises I need to talk to radio about releasing the Bodia. They, I bet they'd be happy to let them go. And I don't think Ace will enjoy this. Consider this your first warning. In three strikes, you're out. Release we'll them, or else another will have to earn my wrath. This time, I'm not playing around. I wonder who could be next. See you soon, radio. Those who treat me with kindness, I will replay that kindness tenfold. And those that treat me with injustice, and that use me, that hunt me down, that hurt my friends, I shall replay that injustice a thousand times over. Uh, I, I need to find radio.